Hey YouTube, welcome back guys. So today I'm gonna go over this uh, tutorial. This is for a beginner uh, guy. So I got this out of Costco for uh, $389.99. And come with this uh, handler, okay? And this one, the handler is also a uh, float. So if you have uh, outdoor uh, sporting or fishing, in case you dropped it, this thing will float and then you can like uh, use like a hook to hook up from the strap on the water so you could uh, retrieve your uh, gopro in case uh, it falls into the water or oceans or beach okay so the special package that come with uh, this one the frame the handler and then uh, come with the head strap also come with a 32 gigabyte of uh, micro SD card and then a rechargeable battery come with a USB uh, type C uh, charging cable and come with a flat adhesive uh, mount and this one is the curved adhesive uh, mount also come with the mounting uh, buckle and then uh, the come with the thumb uh, screw and then the GoPro uh, 7 Black Edition itself. And it says uh, made for iPhone and iPads. This is probably easier to use with the iOS uh, system. So anyway, today I'm going to go over the basic uh, function, how to operate and how to remove this uh, out of the mount so this one has a rubber uh, tab right here you want to lift it up and you could squeeze this uh, plastic on that's on the outside push uh, upward okay and then now you could uh, remove the camera or the frame because this is the rubber tab that's uh, blocking it so it won't allow you to uh, squeeze this in. Once you move out the rubber uh, tab, it's still hard. Okay, then you can squeeze this in and slide upward. And this one is a thumb uh, screw. All right, and then get the dismounted. And a lot of people are complaining about this uh, frame. It is uh, pretty hard with this uh, clip. It's uh, super tight, so I have to use like a two of my on nails you know to pry out open okay so once you unclip it you just uh, push this uh, toward the back of the lens and unclip it all right just like that and you're gonna unfold this uh, backing and if you try to struggle and push out it's gonna be in like a center angle you want it to be uh, pushed out evenly, so normally I did is uh, push the, this one out, the top part, and then the bottom. So you got to give it enough pressure just to slide out evenly, okay? And that will allow you to uh, move, move out the frame. And then that's that. And by the way, this one has a uh, three LEDs. So right now we are in the video mode. If you slide left, oops, that is the time lapse mode. This is the video mode. And then this one is the photo. I, I think I activate my uh, voice uh, command. Normally you're supposed to uh, say GoPro and then uh, you're going to tell them uh, time-lapse mode. GoPro, time-lapse mode. 
so it's going to automatically switch it. But sometimes if you don't say GoPro, it's automatic uh, pick up your uh, whatever mode that you were saying. GoPro photo mode. GoPro video mode. All right. So if you press uh, the shutter button right here, this is to uh, record. Okay. As you can see, you got the LED. That means recording, blinking red. And also when you flip it to the front, it's uh, blinking red right here. And then there's a the bottom one right here. So you have uh, three of the LED. And you're gonna press. And it also shows 1080p, whatever setting that you're setting on, 60 frames per second, okay? And then it shows that you have uh, 52 minutes of uh, recording left, and that's your battery level. And then you press it to uh, stop recording. This is your on and off uh, button right here. So let's go over the recording real quick. See, I didn't say GoPro and then I just say recording. Uh, it's not supposed to activate the recording when I didn't say GoPro. GoPro, stop recording. All right, so to uh, deactivate the voice comment, you have pull down menu right here. This is your voice uh, comment right here. Okay, so as you see voice comment on or off. And then this is the beeping. Turn your uh, camera beep on or off. So now I say uh, camera beep off. So when I press uh, record, it's not gonna beep or do anything or no sound at all. Okay. And this one is a quick capture, power up and uh, start recording just by pressing the shutter button, okay? So GoPro turn off. So as you see, it turns off right now. So if I press the shutter, the shutter button right here, it's gonna automatically uh, record. So as you see, it is automatic recording with that rapid uh, icon. And I'm gonna press it to turn it off. And drop down menu right here. Oh, because uh, it was off. Uh, the GoPro was off. So when I press this one to t start recording, the shutter uh, button, and once I stop recording, it's automatically turn the unit uh, it sells off, okay? GoPro turn on. So this is a little bit delay, okay? When you say GoPro uh, on and off. And then here is your uh, lock button. You want the auto screen lock on and off. So nobody could mess with your uh, setting. So you have a ninety-four percent of a battery right here, and it shows uh, nine hundred ninety-nine plus uh, for the picture because you're on the photo mode. You see the icon right here, and then you see the timer right here. In case uh, there's a, you can set it uh, three seconds to take like a selfie or ten second to take the selfie. And then you can uh, click on over here. You have a different mode. This one is the photo mode, or you have a burst mode, and then a night mode. So if I choose a burst mode, it's gonna take a multiple picture. Once I hit the shutter button right here, so it's gonna take like so many uh, pictures at a time. So we try to save the photo right now. So this one, the icon it shows uh, right now in the single uh, picture mode, okay? So 
if you select burst, it's going to show burst. And if you show the night, it's going to show you a nighttime mode. But right now we're not in the nighttime mode. So, and then I also set the three second delay. You can set the 10 second delay. I'm going to turn it back X. And then uh, right here is the magnifying glass or the zoom. This one is to uh, allow you to zoom in, zoom out. Okay. And right now we're on the auto wide. You could also uh, customize it right here. You could click over here for the shutter. You could set the, because we're in the nighttime mode, and you could set the shutter for 30 seconds to, so you take a better picture. Uh, let's go back real quick. Let's go back to uh, regular mode, photo mode. So regular, uh, regular mode, it will have the wide angle. Field of view is a FOV. So you have a linear. So this is what it look like a uh, linear mode. I'm gonna change back to a uh, wide angle. Hopefully you guys can see the difference. All right, so this is wide angle. As you can see, the corner is kind of warping. This part right here. And then you can set like a super photo. Right now it's off. You could turn the HDR on. Okay, so it's capture a photo with the additional, maybe I should turn the voice uh, comment off. And also on this uh, raw right here, right now it's off. You could turn it back on. So it saved the picture both in a JPEG and then a GPR file. And then the raw files cannot be uh, produce if uh, HDR is on or super photo is set to auto okay so if you want to save the raw photo uh, those are super photo and then uh, HDR is it's going to be off or has to be off and then there's a pro tune right here this one is off right now Proton is for you to uh, set your uh, setting manually. You could uh, turn on and then uh, change the ISO and then color, exposure, saturation, or whatever. So let's see if you turn it on. So you got, as you can see right now, you got all this uh, extra setting right here. You could change the ISO, ISO max, and then the white balance, shutter, and then the uh, EV uh, comp. So yeah, those are the extra settings that you can set if you turn the Pro Tune on or off. Damn. GoPro, turn on. I'm going to turn off this uh, voice comment for now, screwing everything up. So what happens after you take a picture or your time lapse or your uh, photos? How you're gonna retrieve your uh, gallery is to uh, swipe up. Okay. What? I didn't say record. Auto head. So after you play it on the upper right hand side, this one is uh, you can. On the upper right hand side, you see the speaker. Once you uh, touch it, right now it's on uh, low volume. And then right now, if you press one more time, you got an X mark. That means uh, mute for the video. Okay, now it's mute. If you touch it one more time, you see a loudspeaker right here. So right now it's on loud. So there's a three mode. You can change to mid volume or uh, mute and then high. And show you the counter, like how many seconds of this video clip. 
and then uh, you could delete this or you could uh, put the slow mo or you could drag it to wherever point of uh, video clip that you want to play okay and right here if you hit it it's a highlight whatever that picture that you want to highlight and uh, if you want there's a gallery right here you see all these uh, nine squares those are all your galleries at okay so it show you everything that you have uh, record video time lapse and everything unless you want to go ahead and then uh, just uh, scroll uh, one at a time by swiping to your left or to your right and uh, if you want again just go back and hit the gallery button right here and I'm going to teach you guys on how to uh, select and delete you want to press uh, check right here on the upper right hand side and right here you can select whatever video or picture that you don't want and then you just uh, click on the, the delete button right here and then click on delete it just uh, delete the picture that you selected or oh, unless you want to hit that button again the check button and right now if you check the box it's going to delete everything within the gallery okay uh, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to do that so I'm just uh, showing you guys uh, how to do that so if you want to change the mode you could also press this uh, power button right here on the side and now it changed to the video mode photo mode time lapse mode if you don't want to swipe left or right okay so now we're going to go to the video mode and talk about this mode real quick as you can see uh, right now the battery shows at 86 percent and you have about uh, 51 minutes of uh, recording time on the upper left hand side right here and then uh, click on recording uh, right here is, you have a video mode or a looping mode okay and again right here on the magnifying glass is a you can zoom in or zoom out if you want to record zoom in or zoom out and then the main section right here if you tap on it it's a different at the setting right here right now it's on 1440 60 frame per second and uh, y angle interval is uh, five minutes so if you put the root looping it records uh, each clip five minutes and then uh, low light it, it is on auto right now stabilization it is on auto So if you don't want the video stabilization, you could turn it off, okay? Just keep it on auto. And then the low light, auto low light, it is uh, auto right now. I'm gonna keep on auto. So the field of view, this one you could choose a linear or a Y angle. So if you go to change the resolution or the frame per second so as you can see on the upper right hand side it shows a uh, 4 to 3 uh, ratio if you change a different uh, resolution oop. if you click on that now it's uh, 16 by 9 so when you, when you go back to the previous one if it's 16 by 9, you could uh, choose a super view angle, okay? So I'm going to show you real quick. So this is a super wide angle. Go back there and change it. Super view wide angle, okay? And then this is a wide angle.
going to back to resolution again. So right here on this uh, resolution with the hyper smooth stabilization, you could uh, choose uh, 60 frames per second or 120 frames per second for 1080p or 4K 30 frames per second, okay? And those are the settings for 16 by 9. If you hit this uh, upper right hand corner icon again, right now it's uh, 4 by 3. And this is the only selection that you have to choose for the hyper smooth. So let's uh, see if we we'll turn it off. So basically, uh, it is the same thing. So I turn it back on. And then for the interval, you can select 5 minutes, 20 minutes, or max. Oh, 5 minutes, 20 minutes, 60 minutes. 120 minutes or max. And then that is the setting for the video. Let's uh, turn this back onto video. And then uh, there's an icon right here above the video. You can set it to 15 seconds. 30 second, let's see, 15 second. So this is like a 15 uh, second clip. And then once it's recording, uh, this uh, outside uh, square is gonna move and count down to uh, 15 second. Okay. And then uh, if you want, you can set it to uh, 30 second. And then you'll do the countdown for you. So you don't waste uh, that much uh, space. It just automatically shuts off. If you have like a quick video that you want to record and don't want to uh, forget to push the shutter button right here. Or waste your battery. Okay, and it will be the same thing if you want to retrieve your uh, video, just swipe up. And this is the video that we just uh, record. So we start recording by pressing the shutter, or we can press the shutter to uh, interrupt the recording. All right. So let's go to uh, time lapse mode and go over this real quick. So again, you got the magnifying glass right here for the zoom in, zoom out. And then the setting. Right now we're on the 1440 resolution, wide angle, interval is 0 0.5 second. If you, you could change to a different resolution, either 2.7K or 1440. When you set on 14, those two uh, resolution, either or it is uh, four by three. And if you want, you can click on the icon. This one is the 16 by nine ratio. You can record a uh, 1080p or a uh, 4K for the resolution. And let's uh, check it out the view of view. So you only got the wide angle for the time lapse. Let's see if we change the resolution to four by three ratio and see uh, we could change the field of view or not. Nope, same thing, okay. And then uh, check on the interval. The interval, you have a 0 0.5 second or one second.
and then you can also click on the left hand side icon right here right here you can choose a time warp video time lapse video and then a time lapse photo or night lapse photo okay those are the four different modes that you can choose from and again if you want to access your gallery just uh, swipe up these are all the videos the photo the time lapse that are in here okay and if you don't want to uh, if you want to exit out of the gallery just uh, swipe it down all right so when you see all this i mean you're in the time lapse mode so uh, check it out real quick I'm trying to move it in like a slow motion and then uh, so it's moving a uh, very slow so right now it's uh, zero point point zero one second now it's point zero two second. Let's uh, let it finish uh, 0 0.5 second. I mean, uh, let's finish uh, 0 0.05 second. It's still moving very, very slow. So I, the screen got shut off. So let's uh, do the playback. All right. So yeah, this will be concluding uh, all the shooting mode and uh, setting the different resolution and then how to delete, access your gallery and everything. Hopefully you guys uh, give a thumbs up and then uh, like the video. Please uh, be sure to hit the subscribe button, turn on the bell for notification or uh, drop me in the comments on below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next uh, video. Bye always. Peace. <laughs>